How to Write a Small Moment for Kids. Part 6, Revising Your Story. Now that I have written my closing, I am ready to revise my small moment. What is a small moment? A small moment is a special kind of personal narrative. It is a small part of a bigger story. A good way to remember it is by thinking of a watermelon. A watermelon is a really big fruit, so you can think of it as the big moment. Each watermelon has lots of tiny seeds. The seeds are the small moments. What does it mean to revise your writing? Revising is when we go back and read our drafts to make sure it makes sense for our readers. At this stage, we make changes to improve our writing or get our message across to our readers. How can you revise your small moment? There are many different ways to revise your small moment. I am going to show you five ways. They are adding words and sentences to make your writing more interesting, adding details or sentences using elaboration, removing words that don't make sense or aren't important, changing words to make your writing more interesting, and peer revision to have a friend help you revise your writing. Here is the first page of the draft of my small moment that I wrote about finding a butterfly in the bushes while looking for my ball. I wrote, It was a sunny Saturday afternoon. I picked up my basketball and got ready to go outside. I was going to meet up with my friends for a game of basketball at the park. Here, I am going to add words to revise my story. I think I'm going to add another adjective to describe how the air felt that day. Hmm. Then I am going to add some dialogue to make my story more interesting. I will write, Mom, I'm heading out now. I shouted towards the kitchen as I walked towards the door. My mom poked her head out the kitchen doorway and responded, no problem, hun. Be home by sunset. I can also add words to describe how I was feeling before I went to the park. I will write, I was super excited to play basketball. That looks much better. Here is the next page of my draft. I am going to remove words to revise my story. First, I walked into the park and stood at the gate. The gate was open. I saw my friend Sam sitting on the bench near the basketball court. I waved at him and started walking towards the court. Did you hear anything that didn't make any sense or wasn't important? Oh, I can take out the gate was open because I already explained that I walked into the park so the gate had to be open when I walked in. Hmm. I will use elaboration to add details to this page. I will use my five senses to think about what I heard, saw, smelled, tasted, or touched during my small moment. I will write, a bird chirped loudly in the tree above me. Here, I am using my sense of hearing to write about the sounds I heard during my small moment. I can also write about what I was thinking about when I walked into the park. I will write, as we walked to the court, I wondered how long Sam had sat on that bench waiting for me. Wow, that sounds great. Here is the next page of my draft. On this page, I am going to change words to revise my story. 
then, Sam got ready to take his first shot. The ball went into the hoop. Now it was my turn to take a shot. When I shoot the ball towards the hoop, it bounced off the rim. It bounced away and rolled into the bushes. Did you hear a sound or words that don't make sense? Oh, when I said shoot, I should have said shot since my story happened in the past. I also use the word now so I can change that word to then. That sounds better. I also see a part where some of the words repeat themselves and don't give enough detail. This might be confusing to my readers, so I'm going to change them. There, much better. How about a boring word that I need to change? Hmm, I can change the words got ready to prepared. Oh, my readers now can imagine just how concentrated Sam was on making that shot. I also see a part where I can use a word to describe the sound the ball made when it went into the hoop. This is a craft move called onomatopoeia. Now my story sounds more interesting. What is a peer and how can they help you revise your writing? A peer is someone who is the same age as you and has almost the same knowledge or abilities as you do. This can be a friend, classmate, or an acquaintance. You can ask a peer to read your story to see if it makes sense. They can use a peer checklist to see if your story is missing any important parts. That way, you can revise your story to add anything you might have missed to make your story complete. I did it! I added words and sentences to make my story more interesting. I used elaboration to add details using my five senses. I removed words that didn't make sense and changed words to make my story flow better. Next, I can ask a friend to look over my writing using a peer checklist. Then I can move on to my next step. So that's how you revise your small moment. Be sure to check out part seven where I edit my story. If you like this video, then check out Miss Dorsman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Miss Dorsman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.